From the Carly B. TV newsroom, I'm Dr. Carly Booz. The Minnesota Court of Appeals upheld former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin's second-degree murder conviction in the killing of George Floyd and let his 22-and-a-half-year sentence remain in place. Chauvin's attorney had asked the appeals courts to throw out the ex-officer's conviction for a long list of reasons. But the three-judge panel sided with prosecutors who said Chauvin got a fair trial and just sentence. Six people are accused in a federal indictment of conspiring to use a drone to fly contraband such as cell phones and marijuana into the U.S. penitentiary in Leavenworth. Two prisoners allegedly arranged with four people outside of the prison to deliver items requested by other inmates into the prison yard between August 2020 and May 2021. The items included cell phones, the synthetic drug K2, marijuana, and tobacco products. Government officials say transactions over cash app recorded illegal payments made as part of the smuggling operation. Today, jurors are set to get their first look at a voting machine company's $1.6 billion defamation lawsuit against Fox News in a trial that will test First Amendment protections and expose the network's role in spreading the lie of a stolen 2020 presidential election. The case will put under scrutiny the libel standard that has guided U.S. media outlets for nearly six decades, reveal behind-the-scenes activity at Fox News in the weeks after the 2020 election, and shed light on the flow of misinformation that turned into a tidal wave after the election, which then President Donald Trump lost to Joe Biden. For more news on the go, visit CarlyBTV.com.